So I'm on my train to Stetson. Um, been riding for about three hours now. Um, things have been going pretty good. We just stopped through Poznan. And actually, when I got on the train in Warsawa, uh, my, my, I guess, container, my cab was completely full. Cool. Uh, but everyone else got up at Poznan, so now I've got a, a ton of room, and it's nice. I feel like I'm in Harry Potter or something, riding in a, a trolley like this. Um, but yeah, there hasn't been much excitement, um, mostly just farmland and a couple cities, but I'm excited to get to Stetson and see what it's like. Um, I had some pizza uh, that I packed in a Ziploc bag uh, from last night. So uh, I just ate that, so I'm well fed, I'm well rested, and I'm enjoying my trip. See you guys later. So finding my correct train platform was relatively easy. Once I got to the train station, they had an arrivals and departures board. Just kind of like in the same as in an airport. And you just match the number, uh, the train number to the one on your ticket. I got my ticket online, by the way. Uh, which made it super easy because you can store it on your phone and you'll just always have it when the uh, ticketers come around. Um, so what you see here is an old uh, steam train that actually came to the station while I was waiting. And I asked another passenger there uh, what it was and he's, he was actually, he'd worked in Chicago so he spoke really good English. Um, he said it was a historic train that the local museum sells tickets to. And uh, he said it's it's what kids ride, but I thought it was pretty cool. I would have bought a ticket. Um, the landscape on the way to Szczecin was mostly farmlands and forests. I noticed that the closer I got to Szczecin, the more forests I saw. And it looked like there, that the trees were laid out in like tree farms because they were laid out in rows and you could see really far in between the rows, which I thought was interesting. I also saw quite a few old historic train stations on my way. Um, and for, you, for those of you that don't know, Szczecin was, or the, the area of West Pomerania was originally settled by Slavic people. Uh, it was conquered by German peoples and uh, ruled for several centuries until the end of World War II when uh, it was given back to Poland uh, after the war and all the German peoples were evacuated. So what you see here is some of the first sites that I saw when I got off my train in Szczecin. Uh, one of the major things is the the uh, Szczecin Lagoon and the, the lake nearby uh, and the Odro River, which is actually the subject of my study. Due to the relatively lengthy German occupation, uh, the architectural style is definitely unique. Um, these are some photos of the area around where I'll be staying. Uh, the layout of Szczecin was actually designed by the same individual that designed Paris. Uh, so the streets are definitely uh, much wider than in Warsaw. Um, there's more green spaces I've noticed just walking around the city a bit. Hey guys, I'm just getting ready for bed. This is my second night in Szczecin. Um, the first night, the night I arrived, I stayed at a really nice hotel um, called the Evis Hotel. And it was actually really close to my train station. It was like 400 meters. So I just walked with my luggage. I didn't get a taxi or anything. Uh, it turns out that the entire walk was uphill, which, and it was cobblestones, which were pretty, but it kind of sucked to drag, drag my luggage up. But uh, so this morning I uh, ordered a taxi to take me to ZUT, which is the West Pomeranian uh, University of Technology, which is the university that I'll be uh, associated with. I'm using their laboratory and their uh, GIS databases for my project and uh, I'm staying in there hosting me in one of their dormitories. So I'm in a dorm. I do have a single which is really rare because they assured me that I could there's only doubles available. But when I got here I got a single so that was nice. Um, it's definitely bare bones uh, but it has the necessities. It's got uh, water, electricity, and internet so I'm pretty happy oh and they, they actually have a fridge in here for me and uh, I have a feeling that it's because I'm not I'm getting a student card but I'm not technically enrolled in the university while I'm here and I have a feeling that 
they gave me a single because I'm a visiting, technically a visiting researcher instead of a student. But I will be taking a Polish language course while I'm here. They're offering that for free. And I will be uh, participating in some integration visits, um, kind of what uh, exchange students do when they come to America, uh, go visit some some local uh, scenery and kind of familiarize yourself. Um, today, I spent today getting supplies for my room and uh, I found out that the, li the university library is just like a building over. So tomorrow I'm gonna try and print out and scan some documents I need to get set in order. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty happy with my room. Like I said, it's it's bare bones, but it's all I need while I'm here, and I'm pretty happy. It's in a it's in a nice area of the town. There's a mall nearby, and there's plenty of restaurants. Um, so yeah, I'll keep you guys updated. Uh, probably the next videos will either be about uh, settling into Szczecin or uh, possibly a video about my actual research project and what I'm going to be doing here. Uh, so as always, thanks for stopping by. Uh, thanks to my friends and family um, for their support. And I'll keep you guys updated. Catch you later. Don't you worry. Don't you worry.